out to Dudley Gym today. We're here with Coach Wiltshire, Coach Smith, Coach Malone. Uh, they are the winning coaches for uh, Dudley All-Stars who went on to win the Sandlot Division All-Stars for state championships, representing as well. Bill, uh, welcome to you. Thank you for the job y'all did with these young men. You had a handful, didn't you? Uh, definitely, definitely. It was a pleasure working with every one of them during regular season and All-Star season. Yeah. How many years you been coaching? Three. Three years. Yes, sir. You, you coach your son. You work with him constantly. You, you like working with young people, with, with young men, developing that, that teamwork. I'm sure you do. I, I can tell that about you. Uh, but what has been some of your goals this year with these young men besides uh, keep them corralled? Mainly just watch them have fun. Uh, as long as you see growth from the beginning of the season to the end, it makes you feel like you've done something special. So, yeah, yeah. Coach, uh, what made the difference on this team? You've been coaching three years. Well, it's, it's, it's a great group of boys and coaches. Uh, they all, it, it's, they're special. They're, they're really special. They play well, uh, work hard, and they want to win. None of them look, none of them like to lose at all. Yeah. They all want to win. So, Coach, on that note, what, what was that game like that they actually lost in that, that first round? Yeah, so I think they, the lesson they lost, they learned from losing that uh, that game and making was if you don't bring 110% every time you show up on the field, you stand a chance to lose. You know, we, we, we feel like those boys, like Bill said, are special. I mean, they got some real talent on that team uh, from one end to the other, but at the end of the day, talent only take you so far. You know, if you if you if you don't hustle and don't compete on every pitch, uh, it, it'll tell on you. And I think that's a lesson they learned. Luckily, they learned it uh, early, uh, and were able to rebound and take that uh, through the state championship. So, yeah. What does it mean to you, uh, Coach uh, Malone, uh, to have the support of the parents in the community and to have a league like Dudley Little League develop like this? Uh, it's it's pretty amazing. Uh, <clears throat> Growing up in Dudley, playing in this gym, playing on Scott Brown Field, Chapel Field, it's, it's pretty neat to be able to watch my kids and all these other kids grow up and to be able to do the same. The uh, Locke family, Jason Locke, uh, Miss Janice Ballard, she is amazing. Uh, you go online or uh, Facebook or whatever, look at the pictures, she does an amazing job for everybody. But the Locks, Mike Thompson, they do a great job. All right, and so to be able to have that captured, be able for these young men to be able to celebrate it, not only now but in the future, the community to be able to, for us to be able to come out and have those those memories, those photographs, yeah. it means a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, I mean, definitely means a lot. You know, uh, we remember it now because it's fresh, but it'll be real special for these boys in 10, 15, 20 years to look back and better be able to see, you know, remember what they did. So, yeah, the pictures that were taken, the uh, the, the community's support, like Bill said, you know, is uh, it's something different uh, here in Dudley. You know, we, we travel to Macon and to Warner Robins, and uh, people come up to us and say there's something different about Dudley Little League. So that that's special. It's good to be a part of. A lot of heart in it. Isn't yeah, it? for sure. Yeah. So what do you, uh, if you would just take a moment and, and maybe share first, you Bill, on uh, inviting the community to be a part of it because it's, even though it's Dudley Little League, there are kids who come from around the community and play. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, you got a lot of kids coming from far, <coughs> and uh, again, I mean it's a great organization. Uh, everybody pitches in from you know early springtime, getting the fields ready, and uh, putting up signs, uh, getting the dirt, and the grass, everything looking great. Uh, also, the Cruz brothers, they do an excellent job. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> We don't want to leave anybody out, even though it's bound to happen on a couple. Anybody else you may want to add, Coach? Yeah, I mean, a lot like Bill said, I mean, just a, 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 there's numerous people that give their time and energy year-round, really, you know. But also the kids, I mean, I think the expectation is uh, Dudley's going to put together a really good team. So you can see it in the kids on their off-season uh, practices and training. You know, it's, uh, it's something we all take a lot of pride in, coming out here and one, putting on a good product, but two, letting that product uh, go to different places and play quality baseball. So it's uh, it's good. Yeah, 
I trust y'all are going to continue to coach. Yeah, we hope. <laughs> we hope. <laughs> be great. Yeah, yeah. So continued success to both of you. I know we're probably going to be back out here talking to y'all again uh, in the years to come. But uh, for what you do for these young men, for what you do for the community, uh, this is what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. We'll take a short break. We're going to come back and interview the kids and talk to Coach Brock in just a moment. Stay tuned. Dublin Ford Lincoln is honored to call many wonderful people our friends. Bubba and Jan East are some of those friends. Um, I wanted to take my time and when you put that kind of money into a vehicle, I wanted to get what I wanted. I didn't want any outside influences and I felt like they allowed me to do that. I took my time and found what I wanted and then they helped me get what I liked. Others call you customers, we call you friends. That's Dublin Ford Lincoln. We are here to celebrate these young men who are standing behind us, and we're really excited about being out here today. We're here with Brock Wilcher. He's a head coach of uh, the actual Sandlot All-Star State Champs. Yes, sir. From right here in Dudley. And you remember seeing some of it online and in the local paper back in June uh, where you guys went out and, and actually uh, got to bring home that banner, got to bring home medals for all these young men. And so, Brock, uh, how many years have you been coaching? Uh, this is actually my third year coaching. Okay. And deadly. All right. So you've, you've been able to coach these young men in baseball. You've been able to develop relationships with all these parents and, and with these young men. Have you coached this division each year? Yes, sir. Uh, last year I coached the eight-year-old, eight-year division. Yeah. And uh, this year was nine-year. Mm -hmm. So your, your first couple of years, I, I'm sure there's a little bit of a learning curve. You know, when you start coaching an organized team, you got a real love for the, for the game. Where does your love come from? Uh, probably from just playing in the past mm -hmm. when I can remember when I was this age uh, Everything that the coach instilled and the lessons you learn and um, it just sticks with you Yeah, what's one of the first things you try to get across to these young men when they come out to play to work hard Come uh, to practice every practice and uh, not only work just at practice, but put in time at home as well Man, It seems like just yesterday we were out covering the opening day parade out here, you know the parade that comes all through town, the very opening pitch, very first pitch of the season. Time just flies through the, the summertime, and, and before you know it, you have opportunity, if you're fortunate enough, to play in a game like this. And, and Coach, you couldn't do it by yourself. You had some help. That's right. I had uh, two assistant coaches, uh, Bill Malone and Brian Smith, and um, in the regular season, we didn't coach together, but uh, by the time we get through an all-star time, it we can pretty much read each other's minds and know what know what each other thinking. Yeah, and and Brock, you can't do it without the support of parents either, can you? That's correct. Um, and parents have to bring the players to practice, and they're encouraging and uh, always uh, supportive. Yeah. So you got what twelve young men behind us? That's here. right. We got twelve young men back here, and um, watched them grow up over the season and throughout the season. Yeah, yeah. Don't they grow fast? They do. And, and pick up and learn. And boy, when the light comes on, a lot of times it really comes That's on. That's right. When, when, the, when the light bulb clicks, you can see it. Yeah, yeah. Well, we want to talk about that build up just for a moment before we interview these young men. Now, let's talk about when, when you first went up and what the series was like. Okay, so uh, we went, uh, had to go up to Vine Engle in Macon and play for the division. Mm -hmm. And uh, we uh, won the first game, lost the second game. And that was at the point where the you could see the boys react to we're not going to lose another one, and that's exactly what they did. Um, we went through and won the division, then got the opportunity to go play for the state in uh, Warner Robins, and uh, won the state championship Sunday on Father's Day. So that was a special Father's Day. Yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, fans were there. You know, you can see from all the photographs, and people will remember. You know, just a, an exciting time, and no doubt about it. But the battle back from adversity—that's a, a wonderful lesson to learn for these young men at, at such an early age. Uh, this is actually a, a nine and under a team, right? That's correct. Yes, yeah, so all these nine-year-old behind us. Right. And, um, you know, probably been playing for a couple of years. And we're going to get to meet them in just a moment, ladies and gentlemen. First, we're going to take a short break, and we'll be back, and we'll be interviewing these young men. So stay with us. From humble beginnings with a desire to serve the Dudley community, Bank of Dudley has grown to five locations, serving Lawrence, Twiggs, and surrounding counties. Serving our community since 1905, the Bank of Dudley is looking forward to its second century of community banking. Drop in today to any of our five locations, Jeffersonville, Dudley, East Dublin, Veterans Boulevard, and Downtown Dublin. Bank of Dudley, member FDIC, and an equal housing lender. 
All right, welcome back, everyone. And now our first player. I'm Luke Shepard. I'm number two, and my favorite baseball player is Ronald Cunha Jr. Well, all right. You love the Braves, don't you? You watch them most every night, huh? Uh, no. <laughs> I, I usually watch Georgia. Oh, okay. Well, good, good. So let's tell us about uh, what kind of year you had and what you learned this year. Got your coach, Coach Brock, here. What was the team you played on uh, here in Dudley? Uh, I played on my dad's team. And yeah. All right. So tell us who your mom and dad is. Uh, Eric Shepard and Christy Shepard. All right. They're proud of you, aren't they? So what do they tell you when you're about to take the field you're going to play ball? Luke? What do they tell you? I, they don't really tell me. Anything. They tell you to get out there and hustle, don't they? Uh. They don't? Well, that's what you've been doing, I guess. What's this ring you got around you? Uh, it's the ring that Mr. Todd got us since we won. All right, okay. So let's talk a little bit about the position okay. then, Brock. So, so this is Luke Shepard, like yeah. you said. And Luke uh, Luke played uh, several positions for us. He played catcher. Uh, he played second base, infield, um, and did a little pitching as well, I believe. Um, and Luke did a good job at all positions. He played a good utility player. All right, Luke, what's your favorite position to play? Catcher. You'd rather be catching, had you? Will you let anything get by you? Uh, Not if you can help it, right? <laughs> That's right, Luke. Well, Luke, now what do you tell uh, your teammates? What do you tell your old teammates and then the kids that back in school now that you're back in school and you tell people about that experience? Uh, what was that like for you? Uh, well, I tell them it's fun. It was fun. We had a good time. Yeah. It's fun to win too, isn't it, Luke? Yeah. All right. Hey, we're real proud of you. Keep up the good work, all right? Thank you, Luke Shepard, everyone. He's our first player here that we're talking to, and we'll have other ones going to step forward here. And our next player? My name's Chip Neesmith. I'm number nine, and my favorite baseball player is Freddie Freeman. Well, all right. All right. Now, tell us what position you played. Most times left field. Most time left field. Okay. Now, come on up and tell us now, what other position did you play? I know you like left field, and you must have a pretty good arm. I played third and first sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay, what team were you on and who was your coach during regular season my, in Dutch Little League? My coach was him and, and I played on the Orioles. Played on the Orioles. That was the team Coach Brock, huh? That's the one he coached. And so, have you played a couple of years already, I would imagine? Yes. Sir. How many years have you been playing baseball? I don't really know. Man, it all <laughs> runs together since you could walk, right? Yeah, tell us about your mom and daddy. Who are they? Uh, Mama's name is Crystal Neesmith, and my daddy's is T.J. Neesmith. All right, okay. They ever give you any advice on playing baseball? They just tell you go out Have fun and play good. Have fun and play good. <laughs> That's good, good advice. That's good advice, yeah, it sure is. <laughs> Brock, what can you tell us about it? Tripp was like a, several of the players played many positions, and Tripp, like he said, played left field, third base, first base. Um, he even pitched a little for us as well, and uh, – uh, like I say, uh, most all the kids played several positions, so when they come up, they're probably going to say several different positions, and yeah. that's what that's what uh, made this team click, I think, that everybody could play different positions. Yeah, it pays off, doesn't it? When it you does. need them, you need to put them in a, in a different position. But now, Tripp, um, let's think about it just for a minute, what you learned during the course of this year. Was there something that you really had to work on? Mm, my hitting. you hitting? Well, that's a good thing to work on. How'd you do? Yeah. You hit the ball well? I guess, yeah. Okay. All right. We're good. All right. Well, it's trip, everyone. Thank you. Best of luck to you, son. Who we got coming up next? I'm J.D. Hogan. I'm number 27. I... All right, J.D. Who's your mom and dad? My mom is Bryn Hogan and my dad is Todd Hogan. All right. So they went to all the games, supported you very well, I'm sure. Other family members came out, your grandma, grandpa, and everybody, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, I love to watch you play baseball. What do you love most about baseball? Having fun. Yeah, it's just a fun sport, isn't it? And what position do you like the best? Pitcher. All right, so you got to pitch a lot. Okay, what type of pitches are you throwing? You just throw a fastball down there? Fastball, cutter, and changeup. All right, you got it down pat, don't you? Who's worked with you over the years to develop your pitching? My dad. He has. Worked with you all the time, huh? That's good. That's good. You got a good partner there, I'm sure. So what do you think you learned most about this year? What do you learn about playing as a team? It's important to play as a team, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. What would you say about it, Brock? 
Um, JD is uh, probably JD was the fastest player on the team, so he he batted, he was our leadoff hitter a lot, and uh, probably the fastest player in the league. So uh, anytime we could get JD on base was always a positive thing for us. But like you said, he played catcher, he played pitcher, second base, uh, shortstop some, um, and did a great job at all of them. JD, what you tell your friends when you got back? It was a great experience and it was fun. Yeah, yeah, and you got your ring on now, don't you? Let me see that. Man, that looks good. That's something to be proud of. Don't lose it now, all right? All right, this is JD, everyone. Thank you. Congratulations. And we congratulate all these young men. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back with more of the players here in Dudley. Stay tuned. Local events coverage brought to you in part by Jeff Davis and Altera Networks. Altera Networks, premium IT system, backed with world-class support. IT consulting and on-site networking, ongoing support and security. That's Altera Networks. Jeff Davis also serves our community as Lawrence County Commissioner, District 3, and continues to serve our community at large. All right, we welcome you back again. We're interviewing all the players, and now we have another player. My name is Boone Smith. I'm number 14. My favorite baseball player is Freddie Freeman. I play first and pitcher. All right, Boone. Uh, so your dad's also one of the coaches? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay, so what team did y'all have during uh, regular season? Uh, I was on the Oakland Athletics with um, Mr. Eric Shepard, my dad. Mm -hmm. All right. So during the course of the year, what all positions did you play on that team? Uh, I was mainly just first and pitcher. I would get outfield every once in a while, but just mainly first and pitcher. You got to have a good glove. Yes, sir. Sometimes you got to be able to dig it out of the dirt, don't yes, you? Yes, sir. That's right, Boone. So what did your dad taught you over the years? I guess that's your, your number one uh, practicing uh, partner, right? Yes, yeah, sir. All right. So what's he tried to instill in you over the years about the sport? Keep your body in front of the ball. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stay in the batter's box. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And uh, you, you seem like you have a real good attitude. That's good. Pretty happy with everything, right? Yes, yeah, sir. Of course, uh, when you win a, a state championship, that's awesome, man. Yeah, at, sir. at nine years old, already got a ring. That's impressive. Let me see your ring. Man, all of them look good. <laughs> yeah, you wear it all the time? Uh, not that much. <laughs> yeah, so tell it's us about big. Tell us about your, your mom. What's her name? Her name is Misty Smith. Um, she comes to a lot of the games, all of the games. Yeah. She's. Yeah. She's your number help. one cheerleader, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, I bet so, Boone. What you tell us about Boone, Coach? So, like Boone said, he was our first baseman. I think he was our actually our uh, only left-hander on the team. Um, and uh, like you said, Boone, I've never seen Boone upset. He's always smiling, just like he is right now. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. So, why why is it so enjoyable to get to get out there with your friends and, and play ball? What do you think the best part of it is? Just being out there, yeah, like doing something that you love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what you ever since you could pick up a glove, pick up a ball, you've been throwing it around. Yes, yeah, sir. And you're coming back next year. Mm -hmm. You got some big shoes to fill next year, don't you? <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, all of y'all do, Boone. Well, we're real proud of y'all. I want you to know that. Thank you for talking to us. All right, again, out at Dudley, and we're talking to Sandlot State champs from Dudley, and you remember seeing it. Now, coming up real soon, we want to tell you more about them. Uh, and the fact that they're going to be recognized at a Braves game coming up real soon. We'll be telling you more about that. Come on up, son. Okay. Tell us what your name is. Hi, my name is Duggan Malone, and my f my number is 17. My favorite player is Freddie Freeman. All right. Tell us who your mom and dad are. My mom is Meredith Malone, and my dad's Bill Malone. Okay. So you played on your dad's team during the course of the year. What team was that? The Cincinnati Reds. Okay. Y'all had a good year. Played hard and got better with each game, didn't you? What's your dad try to tell you that, that you, the game's all about? What your attitude should be? Have, things like that. Having fun. It's all about having fun. Just get out there and have fun, huh? That's good. That's good. What position now? Shortstop. Okay. And that's where he played pretty much all the time, short? He, he did. Duggan played short pitcher, and he even came in at catcher sometimes. So. That's why I figured he was going to say his favorite Braves was Dansby Swanson because <laughs> Duggan was our main shortstop. So. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about the year. Let's talk about whenever you got to go up and, and y'all played and y'all lost that first game. Man, how how'd that make you feel? What were you thinking? That we had to come back and play and win the next game. Yeah. Yeah, you couldn't lose another one, could you? <laughs> <laughs> or go home. So so you, you dug down in and you realized, hey, we can do it. And once you got past that, you know, you, you saw that just because you lose a game, of course you know that from playing before that. 
you know, that, that doesn't determine who you are just because of one loss. All right, so let's talk about some of your teammates. What's some of the memories, some of the funny things, some of the things you remember about some of your teammates from this year? Anything? They're funny and they play hard. Yeah, you all just get out there and have a good time and laugh and, and play baseball. All right, so coming back next year, you, you wear that around your neck all the time, man. That, that looks good. Now you sleep in it? <laughs> no, you hang it up on the bedstead. That's good. So uh, let's talk about some of the fans and what some of those games meant to you to turn around and you see all the cheering parents in the fans, in, in the stands. How did it make you feel? Feels good to be cheered. Yeah, yeah it sure does. Anything else you add on him, Brian? Yeah, I think that's about it. Dugan, you, you, I'm sure you're going to just grow on up and be a great shortstop and probably real versatile throughout. You hit the ball well? Good. Good. Keep swinging, Dugan. Good to meet you. All right, we're again meeting all these young people. It's the nine and under Sandlot All-Star State Champs. Our representatives right here from our community coming out of Dudley Little League. What's your name, young man? My name's Logan Wiltshire, and my number is seven. And my favorite baseball player is Ozzy Albies. All right, Logan. So tell us about your position about this year. I usually played second base and pitcher. Okay. So second base and pitcher. You got a pretty good arm. You feel the ball well. Yeah, you work on that a lot, don't you? Yeah. Did you hit the ball pretty good? There was one game I went three for three with a single and a, two singles and a double. That's awesome. Keep that up, man. That's all right. Now you're wearing your ring, I see. You're sporting that thing around, it's a lot to be proud of. So when you came back, I'm sure you called a few people, you, you talked to a few of your friends and family people. What did you tell them about that experience? It was fun. Yeah, a lot of fun, isn't it? Man, I'm digging those glasses too, those are cool. <laughs> what else can you say about it, Brock? Um, well, Logan's obviously my son, so uh, that was special to have him on the team playing as well, and uh, just the memories you won't ever forget. So. Logan, what's your mama's name? Diane Wilcher. Yeah, I've heard of her. She teaches, doesn't she? Yeah, she teach you anything? <laughs> that you got to do your homework before you play baseball. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you got a lot to be proud of. You know, you got a good group of friends that you, you've you uh, established friendship with on this team. And uh, so if you just keep growing, keep working hard, we're real proud of you, son. Good to meet you. All right, again, we're out at Dudley. We're here in the uh, Dudley Boys and Girls Club, the old Dudley gym, and with these young men are coming on up. Now, you've been smiling since <laughs> I got here, son. What's your name? My name is Nicholas Hester. I'm number 75. My favorite baseball player is Freddie Freeman. All right, all right. Now, tell us what position you played. Come on in here with us. I played everywhere. You play everywhere. All right. Brock, what you say about that? I think Nicholas did play just about everywhere except maybe center field and catcher. He yeah. played every other position, I think, and did a great job at all of them. Yeah, yeah. So you just love the game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who's helped you over the years develop, Nicholas? Who's helped you develop in the game? My dad. Yeah, he works with you a lot. Who's your mom and dad? My mom's Melinda Hester and my dad's Stephen Hester. Yeah, all right. So after you won that championship, y'all hooping and hollering and jumping all around and everybody's happy, and y'all get back together with the family. What'd your mom and dad tell you? Do you remember? <laughs> Good job. Good job. That's worth it all right there, isn't it? You'd probably trade that ring to hear that again, wouldn't you? <laughs> so, yeah, that's a fine ring, and we're real proud of y'all. want you to keep up the good work. Good job. All right? Again, we're real proud of these young men. Again, we're going to be telling you about how they're going to be recognized at uh, one of the Braves games coming up real soon, and, and we're excited about uh, seeing how all that plays out. I want you all to all tune into that Braves game. Tell us who you are. My name is Max Chaffin, and I'm number eight, and I'm my favorite player with Fred, Freddie Freeman. Okay, all right. You're proud of the ring, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So when you got it, how did it make you feel to put it on? How did it make you feel to get that in your hand? Great. It was a little late, though, because we got them from him. Mr. Oh, it was a little late. <laughs> well, you got the medals that day, right? Yeah. That's right. Yeah, they presented you with the first place medals. That's impressive, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Hang out around your neck. Where is that? It's at home on my um, baseball case. Uh, you got a baseball case, do you? All right. So let's talk about the position you played throughout the year and what team you were on here in Dudley. Um, I was on the Chicago Cubs, and I played shortstop in Little League, but I played center field in All-Stars. 
All right. All right. So, Brock, what can you tell us about? Um, like Max said, he was pretty much our center fielder. So, Max, Max uh, I think Max pitched one game for us maybe, but yeah. he did play center field just about every inning of every game. So, uh, Max can cover a lot of the outfield, and that's what he's good at. So, that's where we put him. Max, tell everybody who your mom and dad is. My mom is Chrissy Chafin, and my stepdad is Justin Jones. All right. So, who's helped you develop your baseball game over the years? Who's worked with you a lot? Mm. Coaches? Count, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, you just love to play the game, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you tell people whenever you came back from that championship game? You guys were champs. You had that medal around your neck, had the banner. Y'all were excited. You got back. What did you tell people about that experience? It was awesome. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. Nothing like it. Keep playing hard. We're proud of you, son. All right. Again, uh, out at Dudley, we'll take a short break, and we're going to be back with more of these young men, so stay tuned. Hello, I'm Darren Keene with Clements & Keene Insurance. If you own a business with less than 50 employees, we have things that are available to help you qualify for group health insurance with many discounts. These discounts did not exist six months ago. This is available through the Georgia Chamber Smart Plan. It's backed by Blue Cross Blue Shield. If you're a member of your local Chamber of Commerce or if you're contemplating becoming a member, give us a call. Clemens & Keene Insurance, your health insurance specialist, 272-8019. Welcome you back, ladies and gentlemen, and your name? My name is Colton McAdams. All right, Colton. And my number is 10. And my favorite baseball player is Mookie Betts. All right, all right. So Colton, tell us what position you played throughout the year and what team you were on here in Dudley during um, the regular season. I played left and right, and I played pitcher. Uh -huh. What team were you on during the year? I was on the D-Bats. All right, okay. Who was your coach? Um... My dad and Brown Clark. Okay, all right. So y'all uh, got through the year, and you got better, I'm sure, as the year came along, and you were chosen to be on the all-star team. How'd that make you feel? Uh, it was awesome. Yeah, all right. So you got the first chance to play. You guys are playing, um, and, and you settle in. Did you know all these guys ahead of time? Knew them all already, right? Y'all all get along good and ready to play baseball at the drop of a hat, right? Okay, so tell me about when you first went up. It was one of Robin's first, right? Uh, Vine Engel in Macon. All right, Vine Engel, yeah, in Macon. So tell us about that Macon. Y'all were up there, and, they, and I've already asked one young man. You couldn't let, you can't give me the same answer. But what did it make you feel like when y'all lost that first game, man? How did you feel? What did you need? What um, you need to do? Can't win all. Can't win them all, that's for sure. But you had to turn it around from there, didn't you? Yeah. So you guys came on back, worked hard and won that one out, and then went on and won it all. So there you are. You win it all, uh, the last out, everybody's celebrating. What were you thinking? Um, it was nice. Yeah. Could you believe it? You could? Man, that's all right. You had a lot of confidence. Nothing wrong with confidence, that's what I say. You got your ring with you? You didn't bring it with you today? You got it locked up and safe at home. <laughs> all right. We're real proud of you. What would you say? Uh, Colton played uh, mainly right field, and Colton was one of our pitchers. Uh, Colton's delivery when he's pitching is a little different than uh, anybody else on the team. He throws sidearm, and uh, sometimes that would give the uh, opposing team hitters some problems. So, mm -hmm. What you used to see that. That's right. He did a good job. All right. Good job. Congratulations to you. Best of luck. All right. These fine young men out here in Dudley, Georgia today. Come on in, tell us what your name is and all about you. My name is Will Trevor, I'm number three. My favorite player is Ronald Acuna Jr. Okay, what position did you play with? Um, left field. Okay, stayed in that position pretty much throughout the year, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah. What team did you play on your regular season? Chicago Cubs. All right, who's your coach? Uh, my dad. All right, what's your mom and dad's name? Uh, my mom's Leanne Tribble and my dad's Jack Tribble. Okay. And so what do they tell you whenever you're going to take the field? You're going out to play, man. They, they, mm -hmm. What do they tell you? What kind of advice they give you? Just do your best. Do your best, man. That's good. All right. So your dad works with you a lot at home, throws the ball around with you a little bit? Yes, sir. All right. And so what was this experience like this year? Mm, it was fun. Yeah. Yeah. And then you had to get used to a new coach when you got the All-Stars, did you? Yeah, what can you say, Brock? Will, uh, Will, like you said, played right field, left field. And uh, Will, 
I don't know if he has a magnet on him somewhere, but Will is very good at getting on base, and a lot of times he gets hit with the ball, being the skinniest guy on the team. I don't know how he does that, but Will finds a way to get on base. Yeah, yeah, that's good. you got to get on base to score, don't you, son? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so what would you say from this experience? What's your goal for next year? What do you want to do with mm -hmm. baseball next year? Win it again. Win it again. That's right. And what will it take to do that? Um, practice. Yeah, a lot of hard work, doesn't it? Yeah, you keep up the good work. We're real proud of you, okay? Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right, and who we got next? My name's Andrew Helton. I'm number 12. My favorite baseball player is Freddie Freeman. All right. What position do you play with? <coughs> Third base. Third base. That's the only position for you, huh? Third, second, pitching. Yeah? All right. What about regular season? What position do you play? Third base and sometimes second. All right. What team and who's your coach? Chicago Cubs and my coach was Jack Triple. Yeah. All right. So several of y'all got off Jack's team on the on the All Stars, right? Came on over. What did it make you feel like when they told you, "Hey, you're gonna be on the All Star team. You've been chosen." I was happy and ready to play ball, wasn't you? All right. What can you say, Brock? Um, Andrew did a good job at third, and he filled in any position that we put him in. He was dependable, and we knew wherever, whatever position we put him in, he was going to give us his best and do a good job. Mm -hmm. You excited about maybe going up and getting recognized at the Braves game coming up? Yes, sir. You going to wear your uniform? You going to wear your <laughs> ring? Yes, sir. Wait a minute. Where's your ring? <laughs> <laughs> all right. That looks great. You know what? Hey, we're real proud of you. Keep up the good work, all right? All right, get a little restless behind us, so we're going <laughs> to blow it on through here. Go ahead. My name's Cooper Smith. I'm 34. I mean, my number's 34. <laughs> and my favorite player is Ross Harper. <laughs> you saved the best for last, didn't you? Is this, you're the last one? We got one more? No, we just This is it. All right, we saved the best. So tell us about the position you played during the year. I played third and outfield sometimes, and that's basically all the positions I play. Who are your parents? Wade Smith and Carrie Smith. Yeah. All right, they go to every game? Pretty much. Yeah. You have a big place behind you. Anybody show up? My grandparents. Yeah, who were they? Um, Jerry Williamson and Sylvia Williamson. All right. And so the, I know they bragged on you, told you how proud they were of you the whole time, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So let's talk about after regular season and you were chosen for an All Star. Well, how did it make you feel? I was happy and I was glad I made the team. And I wanted to make it to the championship again. And you did. Yeah, you did. So you're wearing your ring around your neck. I know you're real proud of that. Yes, sir. Uh, you'll have it a long time to come. So what did you learn this year from your coaches? From your coaches? What do you think you learned about the season? Um, usually, mostly get in front of the ball and don't be scared of it. Mm -hmm. And um, that's all. Okay. All right. Rob? Like Cooper said, he played third, uh, pitch some, and – uh, he did a good job of exactly what he said. He got in front of the ball. So yeah. playing third base, that's important. And that's, that's, Cooper showed a good job of not being scared and doing that. Yeah. Cooper, if you could give advice to people younger than you, the six- and seven-year-olds that might get a chance to watch this, what would you tell them about the game of baseball? Do your best and have fun. There you go. Congratulations on your win. Thank you so much. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be back, right back, ladies and gentlemen. Progressive Rural Telephone Co-op offers a full range of communication products and services to its members in Lawrence County and surrounding areas. We take pride in being your total communications provider, and we work hard to provide quality services at the best prices. In addition to offering phone service, we provide high-speed internet and digital high-def TV. And we always strive to put our members first. Progressive Rule, your total communications company. Small enough to know you, large enough to serve you. ProgressiveTel.com. Call 478-984-4201 or stop by 890 Simpson Avenue in Rents. Progressive Rule Telephone Co-op. We've had a real good time out here today, ladies and gentlemen. We're excited about it. Let's talk about now the Braves game that's coming up where uh, Little League from all over to saying like these young men will actually be on Braves field uh, and recognized for the win. Tell everybody about that. Okay. On uh, September the 8th, which is Sunday, uh, we're actually the team is going to go to the Braves game in Atlanta. And pregame, before the game, 
they'll actually go onto the field and walk on the uh, warning track from one side of the field to the other, and uh, they'll recognize the Dudley 9U <coughs> All-Stars. So that's going to be a fun time. Yeah, it's going to be terrific, and, and I know they're all excited about it. Uh, you'll need all the coaches to go with you, and probably the parents too, won't you? That's right, to that's right. These young Keep men. them from running on the field. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, as we leave you, ladies and gentlemen, we just we're so proud of these young men. When you see them in and out around the community, if you recognize their parents, uh, their grandparents, reach out to them, let them know how proud you are of them. They're doing a good job for us in our community. Uh, they're being a good example to other young men, and we just wish them continued success. And we'll leave it with. All right. Hands in. This is the way we end the game. Go ahead. So I'm Will and this is my wife Babs and I grew up in Dublin and Babs and I met at the University of Georgia when we were in college. After dating a while we got married, moved off to North Carolina for seminary and then uh, towards the end of seminary we got a call uh, from First Baptist and there was an opening for a youth ministry position. We had found a house before we moved down to Dublin. The day we were supposed to move to Dublin we found out that that house wasn't going to work out. So we called up Susan and the team and just asked, where do we begin? Where do we start? You know, what do we need to do to make this move forward? They were very patient with us in trying to find, with our new salaries, a house and working with us to get those numbers um, correct so that we could purchase the house that we're in now. So they helped us not only once, but twice through the whole process. So. We had questions and we didn't know really who to ask and so we really just directed all of them to Morris Bank and we would ask Susan or we would speak with one of her teammates and whether it was something that they were supposed to know or answer, they usually always helped or would find the answer for us. And so it really just made the process you know, very easy and, and reassured us that they knew what they were doing even though we had no idea what we were doing and that it was just a, a, a very smooth process. Just walking through the door the first time, just imagining that our family was going to get started there. It was just a really exciting time to, to think about all the possibilities because of a home and that we could share that with friends and family.